Good morning, church. Pastor Linda from Bethel Thetford here. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. And today is Thursday, July the 30th. We're almost to the end of July already. The time is 1042. We're advised not to worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for what he has done, and then you'll experience God's peace that passes anything that you could ever understand. And his peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you created all things, and through you all things were created. You created them to perfection, and then you gave dominion of your creation to your people that you also created. And it didn't take too long before things started to fall apart. Well, we've come along a few thousand years, Lord, and things are still falling apart. I ask, Lord, that you help us. We have this nasty pandemic that's going on around the world, and we ask that you take care of that. Help us, Lord. And it's not just the pandemic, Lord. There's all the other diseases, and it's all of the other ailments that are in the world, and it's all because of choices made by mankind. This isn't something that you've inflicted on us. This is something that our own behaviors has caused. We lift our hearts to you, Lord. We humble ourselves to you, Lord. And we ask that you just be with each of us and direct our paths. Help us to do what is right. Open the eyes of the doctors that you've put into place. Open the eyes of the leaders that uh, you've also put into place. Yes, we voted them in but they're your people as well. And we pray, Lord, that all decisions that are made are according to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Luke 10, 27 tells us that we're to love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our soul, all our strength, and all our mind, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. So we need to love God with all that we are. And we need to love our neighbors, love everybody else. It's going to be a warm day today, actually. I forgot to, uh, to check to see what the weather network was going to be. Been a busy morning so far, but uh, that only takes half a shake here to, to check it out. So we'll see what's going to go on. Counts are looking pretty good today, so we can feel good about that. They're up a little bit from yesterday. But um, it's just one of those things. It's going to be like a roller coaster, and then we've got a, um, a long weekend coming up, so there's going to be a lot more people out and about. Naturally, when you're waiting for this thing to come in, it doesn't come in too quickly, does it? Oh, there we go. Here it comes. Just bear with me. It'll, the Internet's running a tad slow today because we're waiting on it. That's usually what happens. And we're waiting to uh, get things done as well. It says it's 22 degrees out and it feels like it's 26. It's going to be mainly sunny with cloudy periods. The high is going to be 23. So that's not too bad. And tonight it's going to go down to 17. And it'll uh, have some cloudy periods tonight. But it's going to be clear and we're not expecting any rain. So that is nice too. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all that you do. And he will show you which path to take. And that's what we need. Now the King James says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Both of them are saying that we need to trust God and let him direct our paths, and we need to follow through on that. Lampton Shores, or the Lampton, Sarnia Lampton report for COVID. Um, the only change on it is the confirmed cases. We still have 299 cases, and that zero increase from yesterday, praise the Lord. The deaths remain at 25, and the confirmed cases recovered has increased to 264 so our count is starting to go down again we're down to 10 
Now, Mayor Bill put uh, an announcement out, and this is just a little excerpt from it. It says, there is no doubt that this year has challenged us in more ways than we thought possible. Lambton Shores has a thriving tourism industry, and each year we welcome thousands of visitors to our area, particularly during the warm summer months. My message to visitors coming to our community is simple. If you choose to come to our area, respect our rurals, our spaces, and each other. I am disheartened to see the amount of garbage being left behind on the beaches, in the streets, and other public areas. I am frustrated with the lack of respect for people and property. We have been forced to increase our bylaw staff presence, and OPP have also increased their presence to deal with the offenders. Our approach is zero tolerance. If you cannot follow the rules and be respected, do not come. With so much out of our control, we can control our own actions. Choose to be kind. Stay healthy, safe, and positive. Mayor Bill. The Ontario Report. The confirmed cases is just up a little bit. It's at 39,075. That's an increase of 89. Yesterday, it was an increase of 76, so it's not all that much more. The number of deaths is up to 2,772. And the confirmed recovered cases is 34,906. Of those, there's uh, 84 that are hospitalized, 27 in ICU, and 16 on ventilators. So the active cases in Ontario is 1,397. The uh, Canada report, there's 115,470 cases across Canada. That's 476 more than yesterday. Now that's a little bit of a jump because yesterday the increase was uh, 397. The deaths, uh, there's just five more deaths today and that uh, brings it to 8,917. The confirmed cases recovered is 100,465. So the active cases are 6,088. Now, then we go into the U.S. report, and in the U.S., there's 4,568,037 cases. That's 66,921 more than yesterday. The number of deaths um, actually surpassed the number of cases that we have. The number of deaths in the U.S. is 153,840. Confirmed cases recovered. 2,245,044. So the active cases in the U.S. is 2,169,153. And as I say each day, we need to remember that there are 331 million people plus in the U.S. We have 37 million people in Canada. But the uh, number of cases in the U.S. still need to be considered when you're getting upset because uh, your friends can't come over from the U.S. to visit, or you can't go there. The risk is just too high. Now, when you're checking through Facebook or any other social media, you see a reference being made uh, constantly to the uh, pandemic of 1918. Um, and there's a good reason for that. The uh, pandemic at that time, it was called the Spanish flu. And if we look at the reminders of that deadly virus of 1918 or the Spanish flu, it ended up being called the Spanish flu because the King of Spain had succumbed to the uh, virus. And so they basically named it after that country. That's not where it started, though. Now, the concern and the thing that we keep being reminded of is the waves that come in after the initial wave. Now, the Spanish flu was an H1N1 virus. This one is a coronavirus. There are many similarities, though. The uh, virus in 1918 started in February, with a second wave hitting in August of the same year, and the third wave hit in 1919, and the fourth wave hit in 1920. The second wave was far more deadly than the initial wave, 
with most of the people dying in October. The third wave, which ran from January 1919 to June 1919, was not as deadly as the second, but it still killed four, far more than the initial outbreak. The virus infected a third of the world's population and it killed upward to 50 million people. We don't want a second wave and we definitely don't want a third or fourth wave on top of it. We want to handle this virus effectively now so that it can be contained and eradicated permanently. And to do so, we all need to do our own part. We can't look and say, well, they've got to do this or they've got to do that. No, we've got to do it. And if each of us rec recognize the fact that we are in control of what we do, then things will go along a lot better. Don't say, I can't do this or I can't do that or it's got nothing to do with me because it does. It's got something to do with each of us and we have to do our part in order to uh, stop this virus. It's not a joke and it's definitely not a conspiracy. Our scripture today is Psalms 138. I give you thanks, O Lord, with all my heart. I will sing your praises before the gods. I bow before your holy temple as I worship. I praise your name for your unfailing love and faithfulness. For your promises are backed by all the honor of your name. As soon as I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me strength. Every king in all the earth will thank you, Lord, for all of them will hear your words. Yes, they will sing about your ways, Lord, for the glory of the Lord is very great. Though the Lord is great, he cares for the humble, but he keeps his distance from the proud. Though I am surrounded by troubles, you will protect me from the anger of my enemies. You reach out your hand, and the power of your right hand saves me. The Lord will work out his plan for my life. For your faithful love, O Lord, endures forever. Don't abandon me, for you made me. And then, of course, we're instructed to pray. 2 Timothy 1 to 2 Timothy, or 1 Timothy 2, verses 1 to 6, having trouble talking. I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help you intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. This is good and pleases God our Savior who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. There is one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity, the man Christ Jesus. He gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for your faithfulness, Lord, and we thank you for never changing, for always being the same. We can always call on you in all things, and I pray, Lord, that you hear our prayers, no matter how difficult it is for us to pray sometimes. And you know, Lord, we've been told that even if we can't find words for the prayers, that your Holy Spirit will interpret the groanings of our hearts and our souls. And many times, Lord, that's what happens. We ask, Lord, that you give us a glimpse of what's going to happen and how this is all going to fold out. Is, uh, is it going to be taken care of shortly? What do we have to do? to make it work? Will there be a virus or a vaccine? Will it be effective? There's so many things that uh, we ask and wonder if there's an answer for the questions. But you know, the one thing we don't worry about, Lord, or wonder about is you, because we know that you were on the throne and we know that we can call out to you at all times, no matter what the time is. I ask that you be with us, Lord, strengthen us, increase our faith, Help us, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Ephesians 4.3 says you are joined together with peace through the Spirit. So make every effort to continue together in this way. Trust God's Word. Be in God's Word. Actually, I've started doing a uh, daily reading from the um, 
New Living Translation, the Chronological Order Bible. So uh, it, it's only about 15 minutes a day. So you can either read it or you can follow along. I uh, post it uh, later at night. Isaiah 41.10 says, Don't worry because I am with you. Don't be afraid because I am your God. I will make you strong and I will help you. I will support you with my right hand that saved you. God bless each and every one of you. Please pray for each other. And please do what's important. Make sure that whatever you do isn't going to adversely affect other people. You need to do your distancing six feet apart. Wear a mask if you can't be six feet apart or if you don't think you can be. Don't complain about it. Thank people that are putting their lives on the line. Let them know they're appreciated. Use proper hand hygiene. If you've got a cough or sneeze, do it into your arm or into a handkerchief. So many things that are easy to do that uh, don't take a lot of effort, but it does take thought. God bless each of you, and may God be with you till we meet again.